watch watch what he does with his shoulders and how he rotates and forces blood into that and, and opens up everything um because i have a feeling some of you guys will be like ah! and i can see how good it feels <laughs> so i i could just see how good it feels and i could i could, I could see how there would be like oh no 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 and it's like trust me you're fine <laughs> i always I, it always interests me when people go to me hey you, you shouldn't do behind the neck press because that's bad for you i'm like but I'm doing it. I'm 150 years old. But but you guys do squats. So how is squats with your bar behind your neck okay, but not behind the neck press? You're doing you're doing behind the neck press when yeah. you squat. It's like saying front squats. You know, most people don't front squat because it's uncomfortable. Does it, does it mean it's not good? No, it means it's uncomfortable. Just like is everything the neck. uncomfortable? Not good. Well, that's the whole point. The more it hurts, the better it feels. A good front squat. I tell people, look. You could, if you're not cutting off about you're 25 sweet. to 30 percent of your airway, you don't have the bar set, and it's going to be even worse because you got to have, you know, your elbow has got to be above your shoulder to keep it in there, which means it's going to be sitting right on your air pipe. That's I like good you thing. said that. I like that you said that, and, and you're somebody that's been doing this, you know, for at least two weeks now. So <laughs> you know what? I, so it's nice. So if it's uncomfortable, it's probably good for you. That's it. The more the more uncomfortable it is, the better it's going to be for you. See his elbows? Oh. See his shoulders open, open, open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't help you with the triceps there, folks. I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with these peaks. <laughs> so this, I used to go skiing at this place. It was, looked a lot like Black Diamond Hills. <laughs> sorry about this. I'm oh, sorry about this. Now that we got these two together, this is going to be nasty. Come on, Mama. <laughs> Coming right out of the gate with the bibbies, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice. Do you have a real mask on right now? What's that? I said yeah. you feel real masculine right now. <laughs> nice, man. It's good. Really good. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I want you guys to see something. Come on back here. Just watch, watch his shoulders. Watch the press. Every rep is separate. So we talked about this the other day. We talked about each rep, perfection. And he's still warming up, so you can also see that there's a comfort in this, where he's flexing through. Kind of little you know? You know, I was tight, clearing him out a little bit. I do that a lot. Squats with knees. Yeah, yeah. Throw the Just knees out. Yeah, more and more and more, and then I pull them in and out. And open everything up in the hip yeah. area, and then, then we start hitting. Yeah. I've been I've, I've been playing with the elbows so much, largely because it keeps me around when my shoulder gets tight. I find that, like right now, I'm looking for the, the pathway spot. that's going to allow me to go. Explain know? that to them, because I don't think they understand. So, <clears throat> obviously, the shoulder, kind of a Really weird joint. It just most joints are held together by gravity. This thing just hanging there. It's, the shoulder's kind of a weird joint. Easily banged up. I've had a few uh, mild injuries, if you call over time. Um, so ultimately, as you you can your pathway of your elbows in tight or flaring them out wide is going to give you a whole multitude of possible pathways for your stroke. So for me, I'm looking for the, the pathway of my stroke that's going to take the pressure off my shoulder. So that's what it comes down to. Most people don't really understand there's so many variations within a movement. They also, one of the for, for like, if you guys are watching this, this is going to be your safe position for the majority of society, right? Yeah. 
but there's times that we'll go all the way up here. Yeah. And then that's when they start going. Yeah. And it's like, but wait a minute, if you've never gone there. Yeah. Then don't do it. Be careful. Then don't do it. And yeah. I always say now, I'm, I'm starting to say more and more, my exercises are only for beginners. The reason why is because these guys that have been lifting 10 years are already slight, slightly yeah. banged up, already too tight. Yeah. Um, and I think the range of motion that we do is we're athletes first, and we got range of motion. But these guys lose it. And, and you think of a lot of the stuff that a lot of the stuff that you do, it's finding a pathway that is awkward and difficult because it challenges the muscle. If you only did the easy way, it's great. But you know some of the movements, like I've seen you do some crazy flies where you're taking it here. I'm trying to find yeah. a weak spot. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're finding that awkward position where you're not strong and training it. It's a good way to get strong. Oh, good way to make progress. I thought it was only get in injured that way. <laughs> and I, I don't mean that, but I just, yeah. I wish they would understand. We're not purposely <clears throat> trying to hurt ourselves. We're purposely yeah. trying to well, it's, see if it's there's like, something more. There's a difference between, you know, when you jump into shark infested waters and you know there's sharks there, that's different than just going in there thinking, oh, it's safe. You can stay in a safe position, right. or you can go in a risky position, but you understand the risk before you do it. See, he's so much nicer than me. I'm very toxic. <laughs> you put this out in a very nice way. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here you go, big dog. I know this is secondary, but I love the stretch. I'm sorry. It's a little pet peeve I have. So I move the head a lot. I love the stretch, of the neck, and rotation. Well, if you want a deep rep, this is oh, it. There's nothing better than That's that. That's it. You get all the way, when you pull that head forward and you let those. How those... many times have you hurt your neck doing that? <laughs> uh, you know? I don't think I've ever hurt my neck doing that. Do you know that they say that though? They go, you're gonna hurt your neck by moving it. Well, let's think about that. How much weight is the top of your head supporting? <laughs> I didn't I didn't know that you're not supposed to move your head or lift it up. It's 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 a, it's a weird thing. So I'm seeing a repetition or a we've never trained together. So we didn't plan this. But there's things that he's doing that I do, and we've never really gotten to depth about training philosophy in depth depth and I'm seeing the, the how you find range of motion how you move your body how you move through the exercise how you warm up it's so similar and so we come to this two kids growing up in the sport at this pinnacle up here and we're both doing it very similar it's weird well it's you weird there's a period of time that we both endured in this oh. and if you, if you take the people that love to give advice on don't move your head, how many years have they been doing this? Well, they're smaller than Mona, too, so that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I just love the fact that we're seeing this again with somebody. And you guys always say this, oh, Mike, you're, you're different. I ain't different. I'm not different than anybody else. And, and we're seeing that today. That you're just, you know. just from the old school. It's not much yeah, that old school that's, that's actually in the current gym The move in the head doesn't hurt you. Stop no, no, no. that. The behind the neck press doesn't hurt you. Stop that. Lifting heavy weights stresses the body, which makes it stronger, healthy. Going back to what we talked about a minute ago, putting yourself in a position that might, you know, we're, we're moving the head. I'm putting the head forward so I get an extra good stretch because I want that stretch. It's more difficult, which allows me to make better gains. I just love that. I love that. And I'm sorry that he's so toxic today. And everything he's teaching you right now is wrong. <laughs> or is it? I'm just saying. <laughs> or is it? Yeah. Nice. Look how compact he is. Look at that. Oh, that's power. Get it. Woo. What do you mean he's compact? Well, stay tight. There's a difference between when you open things up and it's a weak position. Like you guys see me squat. I'm trying to force the knees out and find this open spot. 
or when we do high necks, it's a very yeah. weak position. Yeah, the bar's way up in the neck. But now you see him, he's like this. Everything is supported, everything's pushed in. And so Elbows, it's like, tight as can be. Oh. Yeah. You see him like, rarely do you see a human being, as he's borderline human being, <laughs> take a pair of 150s and press them like this. You've seen him do it plenty of times. Most times when someone's pressing a weight like that, they're gonna be in tighter, they're gonna be more compact because it's gonna give them more, you know, when your elbows are the tight. Lats, the triceps, the back. Everything's and loaded. When those elbows are in, I mean, it's been a, on a heavy bench press, that's all you wanna do is load those triceps up and out. So. You guys wanna see that again? Load it up again? Load those triceps in? Whoa! Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Come on, Mike. Nothing. Nothing. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get it. Get it. Couple more. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy. Composure. That is Very nice. Thank you, sir. Cool. Nope. Doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better. What else do you want right there? Most times you see people doing that. And their their training partner's holding on to that top bumbo. You know, that's the trick. Not this well, partner. Rob Stamps in the next to you monsters. <laughs> he, he, he literally puts those 30s on there, so we're talking 180, walks away. So it's not only the strength to, to do it, but it's having the, the ability to control the balance. They don't, yeah. they don't get that. that. That's a whole different thing. That's what dumbbells are for. That's a whole different thing. And then you got that top belly. Going on too. I mean, that's 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 that's. Look at these guys. Stay here, stay here, stay here. Go in front. Wow. What is happening? Now that right there is real. Right. Wow. Mike in the middle. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the small guy. Here. <laughs> 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 Jeez, <Louise. laughs> I gotta run. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Give me one more. Yep, yep. 